Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video we're going to go through some of the same stuff we normally do. I'm going to start off with mentioning these cards. These were the three cards that were going to be given away because of the uh, consignee. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was CS2. Uh, I think that's what was in the title of his cards. And um, I'm going to put it at the very end of the video. I'm going to do like the random number gener or the random comment generator uh, from that video. I think it had like a Pidgeot base at 2-pack um, as the thumbnail. Now, we're also going to go through a few of the consignments, and I'm going to show you some stuff um, that I just kind of had out. I've showed it before, but that will be kind of cool just to add in since this uh, video should be short. And then we're going to open up a few of the Gym Challenge Booster Packs. Okay, so first up, we're going to start off with this consignment. They will all be, they will all have CS5 in the title. I know I don't do many raw cards, but I am taking some in. It's kind of cool to uh, see what cards do come in. Um, the same type of numbers still apply, so with the $20 minimum, it's not really in your best interest to send me a card that's only worth $30, you know, because then you're going to lose two-thirds of the value. But we're gonna, this first one right here, we've got a Zapdos, and you can see there's a crease right here. Uh, the edge wear is pretty heavy. Got some heavy, um, like lots of tiny little scratches on the surface. But this is a no-rarity Zapdos, so if you're looking to make a binder set uh, for the no-rarity base set, then uh, this wouldn't be too bad of a way to go. Gotta have it halfway straight for my, my sanity. Next up we have a Gyarados. This one's in better condition. I think I still describe these as excellent played because uh, on the front it actually looks really nice. It's got a beautiful swirl. Um, I'd probably put it closer to like an excellent, excellent near mint on the front even though you can see sunlight scratches. On the back side, the surface to me looks like there's lots of you know scratches that aren't deep, but you can definitely tell that they're there. So that's why I kind of put them as at an excellent plate. And you can see a little bit of a divot right there. Again, nothing too heavy. You probably wouldn't even notice it if it was inside of a binder. So I think it's perfect for a situation like that if you're trying to make a nice, good-looking binder set. And again, this is a no rarity Gyarados. You can see that right there. There's no rarity symbol in the bottom right corner. And then last we have the Clefairy. Same kind of deal as the Gyarados, a little bit more scratches in the hollow, maybe they're just more easily spotted. Backside, same kind of deal. The surface looks good until you start shining in the light and then you see you know, a few more scratches becoming you know, much more visible. You can see it right there. But overall, this would look great in a binder in my opinion. We'll put that one up, so we have three of those. And then we have the Masaki, um, like the mail-in vending promo, Gengar. Great artwork, but it does have several bins. You can see it. You know, this might look okay in a binder collection, but to me, I, I try to stay away from cards too much. Uh, they have a lot of bins like that, but you know, I say that I have this huge box full of cards, like just like this, where they've got you know bins in them, but they're really nice, you know. And I realize there's a lot of people out there who love to just have something that looks good in the binder, have a placeholder for the cards, because you're going to save a ton of money if you, you know if you're just going for the artwork of the card and the nostalgia, you know, just by being able to see it. All right, next up we have one card. Um, this one will be CS12. This is a BGS9 reverse holographic from the Legendary Collection. And well, reverse holographic Charizard from the uh, Legendary Collection, the very first reverse holo set for uh, Pokemon. And you can see right there, centering 9.5, edge is 9.5, but it's the corners at an 8.5 and the surface at a 9 that brought it down. And I think it was because that little white dot there, that is, yeah, that's like on the the sleeve itself. And then it's hard to see. There's a little white dot there for that edge or for that corner. The others are not too bad. I think that's what hit the corners, just those two dots. And then last, we have some more of these, and these are should all have CS. Is this 12? Yeah, this is 12. So these all have CS 13 in the title. We have another base set two, uh, Raichu PSA 10 booster pack. Where there's that Pidgeot base set two pack, not the one from the previous uh, thumbnail that I'm talking about. That one's in a 10. Got a Fossil 8 and a Fossil 9. These are Japanese. So they will have a holographic card inside of it. Neo Discovery with the 9. Gym Heroes with the 9. And then we have a CP6 20th Anniversary Pack with the grade of an 8. Now, before we jump into the two booster packs that we're going to open up for Gym Challenge, I want to show you guys these right here. We've got a regular Topps Chrome Charizard. Then we have the Spectra Chrome. You can kind of see it's a little bit different hollow flash it. It actually says Spectra Chrome right there. 
Then you have the two much more sought after ones, the Sparkle, which is my personal favorite, and we also have the Techno, which is super low pop. You can see right there, they actually say Sparkle and Techno. And I just want to show these because um, for a while there, I stayed away from Topps cards and you know I thought they were super niche but then I started collecting and I realized you know they're a lot of fun to collect and everybody that I deal with uh, especially with like these higher end cards they're it's actually Pokemon collectors you know um, I, I thought that you know it was something else you know I actually I remember hearing the SM Pratt talking about it was either this or the top sun one you know or how they deal with like that the sports collectors or whatever but um, the people that I've dealt with, it's actually Pokemon collectors. I, and the last two sales have passed through my hands with the Techno. I think there's only five or six of them. Maybe it was the case with like all the previous sales, but you know we paid a lot of money. I, I was competing with the, another Pokemon collector. He's actually in with Magic and um, some other stuff too. But yeah, somehow we keep crossing paths, like we're collecting the same stuff. We were both competing, and I won those off of Unlimited Spaghetti, who has like all the Charizards and. Um, then I had another one come in from another guy that I really trust in Pokemon on consignment, and then I ended up selling it um, back to the guy that was uh, competing with me. So it was kind of cool to see how you know the stuff moves around, but especially when there's so few, especially on the Techno. The Sparkle, I have no idea. I don't know who all is collecting those, but I actually like this one better than the Techno. It's just the Techno it has such a premium of the Sparkle because it is indeed more rare or, or more scarce, and then it's also much lower pop. And honestly, just seeing the extra, I mean, I really like the regular Chrome, I and mean, that's why I collect a set of two cards away. And uh, hopefully, I can um, get those two soon enough, but just got to be patient sometimes with cards like that. All right, next up, we have these two packs. I'm going to save this pack for last because I thought it was kind of funny. Hopefully, it's funny. If it's not, um, and he's being serious. Then uh, we might have, we might have a problem down here in the comments. All right, here we go. Garrett D. That's who bought this booster pack. Got the Sabrina artwork. Now we know the Charizard has been pulled. But really, we haven't had any other hits, uh, good hits. We've had the Alakazam and the Koga, but the majority of packs have been shipped sealed so far. All right, we have Rattata, Blaine's Vulpix. Pull one energy off the back. There's the Fighting. Got a Giovanni's Meowth, Staryu, Warp Point, Master Ball, Primate, the Uncommon Erica's Bell Sprout, and nice, you got a Hollow. You got yourself a Giovanni's Machamp. Now, this is usually a very easy one to grade. I don't know if it's because there's so much going on in the Hollow or it's just that hard to see any print lines in it, but this one looks great. Look at the back side. Top corners look pretty clean. Maybe a tiny white dot there on that top left. And then same thing on the bottom left. You can see a white dot there. That was a little bit more prevalent than that one. But either way, very nice condition. I couldn't see any print lines right offhand, but even if they are there, it would be tough to see and uh, would probably be missed by a grader. Well, I'm not even going to say. I mean, that's assuming too much. Graders, they have to. That's their job to look at that stuff. But I'm saying it could be. All right. So this one right here. All right. This is Jason K. And he bought a Gym Challenge pack as well. And he said, Hi, Abby. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. I'd like to use this opportunity to announce that I'm breaking up with you. Best of luck. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. All right, Jason. That's that's one way to do it. I don't know if I, that's a first for this channel. So I'm hoping that you're joking. Here we go. For the Blaine artwork. Now, right, starting off with the Blaine's Charmander. Breathing some fire. You probably got some fire over there on your end, too. All right. Koga's Ekans, Koga's Grimer, Sabrina's Ghastly, Erica's Oddish, Blaine's Growlithe. There's a Psychic Energy. Maybe that's for the Rockets Mewtwo. Got the Meowth Graveler. Koga's Ninja Trick with the old Ditto in the background. And Giovanni's Last Resort. So we didn't get the Hollow. Sorry you didn't... Uh, pull that hopefully it's going much better for you with your uh, your girlfriend over there but thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and um, as always i appreciate the support that you have for this channel i should have the announcement for the winner of these three cards right after this